Welcome to Advan Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the lower fairings on a freewheeler. So if you've been searching around the internet to find out if you can put a crash bar on your freewheeler, absolutely. We have one installed right here. We'll talk a little bit about that here in just a minute, but maybe you're wanting to put a crash bar on your freewheeler because you want to add the lower fairings. Now we do offer the color match lower fairings with just the glove boxes, and we also have them with the color match speaker pods. So you can actually add some audio to your freewheeler. Now this freewheeler back here is gonna get an outer fairing. It's a street glide outer fairing that comes with some speakers and some Bluetooth radio that's already in it, but the customer also wants to add the lower fairing. So as you all know, on the freewheeler, you have a Olin's steering stabilizer bar up here, and this actually mounts right where the crash bar goes to. You've got a bolt that's on that plate that's kind of welded to the plate. It goes through the frame, and then you've got this hook nut system on the back. In order to put a highway bar in here and get all of those holes to line up is to grind off those two little hooks. Those two little hooks kind of catch the frame and keep that plate from turning. And once you have the bolt with some blue Loctite on it, you run it through the engine stabilizer bar, through the frame of the bike, and then into the threaded part of the crash bar. The crash bar on the inside hooks to the inside of the frame. So you're basically going through the stabilizer plate, through the frame, threaded on the crash bar, blue Loctite on the bolt, run it in and torque that thing down. And that will stay in place. Those two little hooks basically just kind of hold it in place as the rest of it's sandwiched onto the frame. Just makes it easier for one person to do it. So just keep that in mind before you purchase a crash bar and the lower fairings from Advan Black to add to your freewheeler, there is a modification on that bracket that needs to be done. It's a very simple modification, literally took me less than two minutes to file those off and uh, get it to where all of the holes line up and we could get our bolt in there and get it cinched down. So other than that, your freewheeler already has the holes down in the bottom. Those have little plastic plugs in there. You wanna pull those plugs out and 99% of the ones that I've done, when you pull those plugs out, there's rust in those threaded holes. So before you mount your new hardware in those rusty holes, go ahead and clean those out a little bit. Spray some WD-40 in there or some uh, penetrating oil, anything like that. Take the bolts that we provide to put the crash bar on, run them in and out of the hole, just kind of clean the hole up and get a little bit of that rust out, and then you'll be good to go. Make sure that you wipe that bolt down real good, add some blue Loctite to it, and put them on. Then once you have the crash bar installed, you can mount the lower fairings. This is a 2014 up lower fairing. It is a vented lower fairing, so you've got a push button here, slide that opens and closes the fairing, and this one has the speaker pods. Like I said, we're adding some audio to this trike back here, so this is gonna give him two more speakers. Now, if you just order the lower fairings without the pods, you will get a glove box in its place. The glove box simply mounts exactly where the speaker pod does. There's just three screws on the back that hold the speaker pod on, but the outside exterior shape is the same as the glove box. So if you get them and the glove boxes are on there, flip it over, pull the three screws out, disconnect the slide lever, and then pull the glove box out. Take your new speak, take your new speaker pod, put it over next to it, clip your slide lever back on, flip it over, put your three screws back in the back. Little blue Loctite on those as well, and then you now have speaker pods. Today, I'm just going to show you how to install these on the freewheeler. It's exactly the same install on any of the Touring models, but since we have the cameras rolling and we already have the crash bar installed, we're going to go ahead and get the camera over here and show you how easy these are to put on. Now, if you have the glove boxes on there, you should be able to open the glove box lid and look right down in there and you'll see a 10 millimeter bolt. You pull that bolt, flip it over, and this back cap comes off. If you have the speaker pods, you're just gonna have a hole like this. Same thing, put the 10 millimeter in there, comes out the back side right here, and that holds the back cap on. Once you take the back cap off, you're ready to put the lower in place. On the back side, you're gonna see this clamp like this. This goes around the crash bars, fit for the crash bars. Got two 10 millimeter nuts. You take those nuts off, pull this off, and then slide the crash bar right through here. Pay very close attention to the way that these go on. I don't know how many calls that I get that's saying that the lowers don't fit and it's because they're putting the left on the right and the right on the left. The actual vent goes closest to the motor. So we slide this into place. Slide it in just like that. We're gonna put our flat bar on the back. We're going to take one of our 10 millimeter nuts and just get it started just like that. Get our bottom 10 millimeter nut. Now from there, the lower is gonna be pretty well 
in place. Now with the two nuts loose on there, you can see that the lower can move in and out on the crash bar. One little tip I have for you is try to pull this out pretty close to the crash bar. You don't want it jammed up against the motor. Now before we tighten those down, we're gonna take our back cap and we're gonna kind of pre-fit it. This side goes, of course, towards the crash bar in here. This side out here has a little hook. Hopefully you can see that. So you're going to hook that in and you're going to pull it around, pull the crash bar up into place, make sure that this all fits. If I push this in, the cap is going to start pushing away from the crash bar. So if we pull it back out, it sucks right to the back of the speaker pod. So we know right around in there is where we're gonna wanna mount the lower. All we're gonna do right now is just kinda snug this down. We're not gonna tighten it all the way. Now that we got it snug down again, We'll test our back cap one more time. When we pull up here, we see all of our lines line up. The cap isn't pushed away from the lower. So we're in a good position there. So from here, we're gonna take our bottom clamp. It goes just like this around the crash bar. This is gonna be the top, it's gonna to be the bottom. We're gonna slide it around the crash bar. It's got rubber around it to protect your crash bar from any scratching or marring. We're gonna slide this down even with the hole we're gonna take our bolt, our washer, and our rubber washer, run it through the hole, through the top bracket. We're gonna pull this around, up onto the bolt. 10 millimeter nut. Run it onto the bottom. Now from there, we have this snug, we have these two snug. We did have to move this around just a little bit, so we'll go ahead, and test fit our cap one more time. Everything looks good. And we can go ahead and tighten down the lower. Make sure that you go back and forth on these top two. You get one tight and the bottom one will pull in a little bit more, get it tight and just go back and forth. And I do recommend at this point, putting a drop of blue Loctite on both of those. The bottom bolt here is gonna be a number four Allen. And then on the bottom, the nut is of course the 10. Same thing on this, little blue Loctite up where the nut's going to stop. If you need to run it down to see where it's gonna stop, do that and then back it off. Put a little blue Loctite on there until that's tightened down. Now with a speaker pod, it's a little trickier getting that 10 millimeter bolt back through that small hole, getting it to come in and grab this little nut clip. You're gonna have to get a 10 millimeter socket and an extension and poke it through that hole and have it come out this little hole back here in the back. We're gonna roll this cap on and then tighten it down. One little tip that I have is get a little bit of grease like this. This is just a red and tacky, you can pick this up anywhere. When you're running that bolt through that hole and it's on here just like this, it's easy for that bolt to just fall off and it falls back down in here behind this and then you have to take the whole thing apart to get the bolt out. If you put just a little bit of tacky grease on the end of that and set it in there, it holds it just like that. Now you still have to be very careful. It's not glue, it is just grease, but it'll hold it in place. But if so I just grab a little flashlight, run it in there and make sure everything's lined up. Looks like it is. So we just slide this through, feel it's kind of on the hole. You can move the cap. We're just gonna hand tighten this down. Once again, no power tools. You wanna be able to feel that nut and that cap tightening down. You do not wanna over torque this. It's just a cap, okay? Doesn't have to be crammed on there super tight. ABS plastic in there and you're gonna start breaking things. Now, when you're doing the speakers, before you put all of this together, go ahead and run your wires down, poke them here above the crash bar, run them into the back of the speaker pod and go ahead and have that lead hanging out. You don't wanna mount the speaker first and then put the lower on because you have to be able to get to that hole back there to put this back cap on. So all of this goes together first, but go ahead before you put the back cap on and run your lead wire hanging out, put your back cap on, then mount your speaker. And then from there, all you have to do is repeat the process on the other side of the bike.
So pretty easy install, a couple of little tips and tricks there for you if you're doing the speaker pods or if you're just doing the glove boxes. Of course the glove boxes are a little easier to do um, because you have just a big open hole back there where you can see that nut. With the speaker pods, you do have that small hole. Another quick tip is if you're having trouble hitting that back cap hole back there, that hole on this side that you have to put the socket through in the bolt, if you take a Dremel or a file or something, you can actually make that hole a little bigger. The hole is big enough to fit a 10 millimeter socket through with the bolt on it with no problem. But if you find yourself struggling a little bit, take a file or a Dremel tool or something like that and just make that hole a little bit bigger. It's not going to affect anything. The pods that these things set in, the little cup that they set in, don't really do a whole lot. As you could see that had holes in it anyway, so it's not like a sealed cup pod or anything. So the hole itself can be made a little bit bigger to help you get that bolt and stuff through. Don't forget about don't forget about the grease tip. I would say most of the calls that I get on these are people having trouble getting that back cap on through the speaker pot because it's just you're kind of blindly doing it. So make the hole a little bit bigger. Put something tacky just like the grease inside the socket and run it through. Just kind of feel for it and then tighten it down. Remember, no power tools used on these lowers. But if you need to get a hold of me, you can go over to advanblack.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see parts and installation tech support. Call that number and you can get a hold of me there. I'm gonna get out of here and get back to work. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, as always, be safe and keep your knees in the breeze.